Shania Twain's song, but it was like, man, I feel like camping. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jordan and we're from Hashtag Good and today we're here with a very special guest who is absolutely incredible, a performer, a choreographer, a pretty much you name it, she is it. She has so, fabulous hair. She does. <laughs> <laughs> and she's sitting right here. She is Vanessa. And Vanessa, can you tell us in three words, because you have an incredible bio, so we're going to make this really difficult for you. Okay. Can you tell us in three words who you are as a performer? <laughs> Emotional, fiery, and I'd say committed. Yes. Well, one thing that we do love about you and your work is that you are so passionate and so emotional, like you said. How do you get into that zone? Mm. It's a question that I get asked all the time, and honestly, I have a lot of life experience I can draw from and that's literally how I do it. And when did you start dancing? I started when I was young, just pretty much like every other dancer I guess. Yeah. Jazz, tap, ballet. Did the whole did thing. Did the whole, whole thing. Yeah, the board thing. Yeah. When I was younger, but then when I was 16 I, I started training at my dance house. Cool. So you have such an, like, a unique personal style. Mm. What would you class that as? Oh. Um, Vanessa? Yeah, I honestly, <laughs> I honestly, when I teach my classes, I say, cool, I don't really know what this style is, I'm just, it's just whatever I do, and whatever I, the music tells me to do, and that's kind of how I choreograph. Do you pick like a piece of music that you just love, and then just go from there, and then just... Yeah, I have to be able to feel the song, and the lyrics, and the story, for me to be able to dance to it, to otherwise I really have this mental block and I struggle to connect with the song but if the song speaks and is so powerful then I find it quite easy. The advice that I always give is to write down exactly what you want to achieve in this industry because mm. it's so broad and you have to be yeah. so hungry for it all the time. Yeah you can't limit yourself and you can't pigeonhole yourself as a type of dancer or as a type of person because you actually don't know what moment will pass you by mm. yeah. and what will happen. So what's your studio called? Just my so that studio. everyone can <laughs> My little baby, my studio is called VHub Dance and we are located in Fortitude Valley out of Kupo. So I started that in 2012 and then this year I've kind of just taken on a whole heap more and just cool. all engines go. Yeah, yeah. Yes, well, you are through. very busy and you are, like you said, you do have your own studio and you're always performing and doing things like this. So many projects going so on. So many all projects. The time. So, <laughs> what are you up to, I guess, most recent project? So, my <laughs> next project is called Vibe A Moment of Impact, and it's basically a show that puts live dance and live music together and we're kind of just merging it together and I'm talking about how one moment has the potential for change. When's it out? Can we go see it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. come and see it. Yeah. <laughs> September 25th, it's a Sunday. It's definitely a challenge though, because dancing to live music. I can't do that amount though as well. So are you choreographing the whole thing or? Yeah, and I have my assistant, Andrew Knofsky. He's my dance partner. So he oh, cool. jumps on in and helps me out. That's awesome. So if we wanted to find out more about that on social media, where would we go? We would go to... <laughs> <laughs> we would all go. <laughs> I've actually created a Facebook page called Vibe A Moment Of Impact and I'm promoting everything on there as well as the VHub website, so just vhubdance.com.au. Okay, okay. dokie, so we all have two envelopes each. Um, one of them has a truth in it and the other one has a lie. So it's something embarrassing that has happened in our lifetime of performance and dancing, I guess. Alrighty, who's gonna go first? Maybe you can go T. first. Alright, okay. So, okay, what number? Two. Two? Yeah, okay, alright. Here we go. I locked my nana in the TV room <laughs> so I could sing to her. <laughs> Was she babysitting? Like, what, what was she doing at our house? Yes, she was babysitting. It was okay. a babysitting time. Okay. What song were you singing? Give us a... It was um, a Disney song. Yep. What Disney It was song? a Disney song. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. 
And somebody loved me. I really like that song. Don't yeah. have to. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, oh my God. I think this is the truth. I okay. say. No. <laughs> it wasn't. Out. We couldn't lock her in the room because well, it was open. <laughs> trying to think of what room you're talking about. Yeah. Because I was like, wait a minute, there's no door. There's no door in that room. This is the room I was thinking of. After one of my performances, a random person came up to my mum and said, your son was amazing. <laughs> that is the truth. Yeah, actually. Um, yeah. Yes. I was six and I was playing the part of Mini-Me. So oh, I had like a so bald funny. cap on and everything. But yes, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I'm going to read out both and then you guys can decide. Which okay. one? Uh, <clears throat> I met Justin Bieber and he told me I had nice hair. Oh, okay. well you do have nice hair. So yeah, I was like, like, <laughs> like that, okay, that sounds true to me. My top fell down mid Afro jazz performance. Ooh. It's a black bra. It's a black, it's a black bra. Black bra. Yeah. Where was the performance? Oh, somewhere in the city. Where did you meet Justin? Uh, Gold Coast. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> Talking to her. <laughs> That's what I was... <laughs> You know. What, how is your hair styled? Just now. <laughs> <laughs> Curly Afro vibes. I feel like both of those could be true. I know, they could both be. <laughs> when <laughs> <laughs> when was Justin Bieber? Like what year? Yeah, what year? Uh, was it last year that he was here? Beginning of last year? I don't know, you tell me. You met him. I feel like it was beginning of last year. <laughs> <laughs> what was the Afro Jazz for performance? <laughs> it was when I was in full time in 2010. Um, I want to say that Justin Bieber is alive. Yeah, I want to say that the, like, the top falling down. I feel like that's too obvious. <laughs> yeah, it's way too obvious. <laughs> I'm gonna go with your top falling down was the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that as well. I just feel like they're both they both oh, so yeah. it happened though. Yeah, you're right. But I did meet Justin Bieber. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I did. That's that's really cool. He just didn't give you a compliment. He just didn't <laughs> say anything to me. Alright, so my group won a talent comp with a rewritten version of Shania Twain's I Feel Like a Woman. <laughs> about camping. <laughs> What? <laughs> I feel like mine are really embarrassing. Okay, the other one is the brand of my undies was visible under a costume once. <laughs> the brand of my undies was visible under a costume. Calvin Klein. Thank you. Should it I was. Train? <laughs> yeah. I it was see that. It was like a rewritten version mm. of um, Man How I Feel Like work? a Woman. We won, and the prize was half a Mars bar. Yeah. It was this performance. Like, what? How did you see your brand of underwear underneath your costume? Oh, got what you wearing? Like a white dress. So we were told to bring um, like skin nude, skin coloured underwear, and I just grabbed those, and I didn't realise that it had like a Calvin Klein like around the band. It was terrible. I don't remember that costume. Well, <laughs> I don't remember it. You know what? It wasn't that memorable. It was quite <laughs> a bad like costume. That's a lie. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, I reckon you really did sing about <laughs> Shania Twain. <laughs> Shania Twain's song, but it was like, man, I feel like camping. <laughs> yes, I think that's the truth. That's so, <laughs> that's that's the truth. so the truth. Yes, <laughs> that is the truth. Okay. Yeah. okay I won half a Mars bar. <laughs> and you just lost it then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, let's sign us off. Okay, all right. <laughs> you can't, you can't. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have been inspired by what I've had to say. Thank you so much to these two girls for having me. Uh, if you want, follow me on Instagram at Vanessa Frischer and give VHub Dance a like. Awesome. See ya. Hashtag G-U-D. Woo! <laughs>